Okay guys, today we're going to make Italian Easter meat pie. First thing you do, you can put an onion in. Onion's optional, but I like onions, so put a big onion in and I'm going to fry this in uh, canola oil until the onions brown. Put a little bit more canola oil in that. Okay. And uh, what you want to do with this is once these start boiling, you can go like that and cut them up. Okay, so let's let that cook. Now we'll put the second ingredient in. Now you could dice these onions before you boil them, or uh, before you fry them. I cut them up in the pan because I'm just lazy. But you got to try to dice them as much as possible because this has to mix. This has to go into our mixer. See, these are starting, these are just about done. If you brown them too much, you get all the taste out of them. So, okay. These are done. Now we got a big mixing bowl here. So we're going to let the oil drain to the bottom of the pan. And dump these in. Second, we're going to cook some ground beef. Um, let me see. We're going to put in, let's put in, uh, we'll put in one pound of ground beef. Okay, we've got our beef in the pan. And uh, we'll let that cook. Again, I will put all the ingredients in the uh, video. Chop it up real good like this, guys. But remember, this is going to have to go all throughout. So, you want it all to be as smart, as small as possible. So that it mixes all through. I'll show you how this is all mixed in once this is all cooked. Even though this is going in the oven for one hour on uh, 325 degrees, it probably wouldn't cook the ground meat, so that's why you have to cook this in a pan ahead of time. My camera doesn't want to turn off now. Okay guys, this is cooked. Uh, we're going to drain it with this utensil, let's put this in the bowl I have. Okay. I like to use canola oil. I don't like vegetable oil. Vegetable oil smells too much. So. Oh. Don't worry, that's clean. Now let's take a break. Max, you want a Dorito? Hmm? You want a Dorito break? I can grab one.
All right, break it over. All right, one more, and that's it, okay? Okay, no more. Okay, now we're putting two pounds of regatta cheese in, and we're going to drain this. Nothing easy, guys. Of course, nothing's easy. All right, this is actually pretty good as it is. I don't think I have to drain it. Just dump the whole thing in. Okay. Throw that out. Or I should say recycle it. Right, I have a motorcycle that gets eight miles of the gallon. I'm into recycling, right. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to put in uh, eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. We're going to put in eight ounces of mild cheddar cheese. Now we're going to mix this up. Then we're going to put in five ounces of pepperoni. As a matter of fact, let's put this in too. These are pre-cut, so you know, don't worry about separating them. Just separate them, like every few of them, they'll they'll separate once you start mixing this up. Thought that was a prize there for a minute, guys, but it's not. We don't want to put that in there. Mm, you know what? I'm going to give one of these to my dog. Matter of fact, he'll want more than one. And so will I. Mm, 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 mm. Man, I haven't had pepperoni in a long time. Max, you want a piece of pepperoni? You don't. You forgot what this tastes like, huh? Mm, look at him. He love it, don't you? Mm, one for me. One for you. Two for me. Okay, breaks over. Okay, now, you know what guys, I need a bigger pot, or a bigger, um, I need a, uh, a larger bowl, I mean, oh, there's a piece there. Oh, for Pete's sake, how am I going to get that out now? Mm -hmm. Man, it's looking good already. There we go. Now we're talking. And you just mix this up real good. It has to be uniform. Oh, I almost forgot. Six eggs.
one. Son of a... Broke one egg in there. Okay, that works. That's two, three, four, five, six. You know what? We'll put seven in since I broke that one. Seven eggs, guys, no shells. Okay, now let's try to mix this. It's a little easier to mix with the eggs in here. Well, this is going to have to be mixed real good. So I'm going to pause you guys. Still mixing, guys. Mix it a little more. Okay. I think it's mixed pretty good. All right, let's put this off to the side. Now, we got our four pie shells. Two pie pans. I use Pam spray. You can use butter if you want. So we're going to spray these real good. Matter of fact, I'm out. So make sure your hands are clean. And let's butter the pan. Butter the sides real good. Okay, that's good. Butter here for the next one. Okay, I'm going to wash that bowl and my hands. Okay, now we're going to take our first pie crust. For any of you that never worked with these before, they're real flimsy, they're real, they're real fragile. Got to go about it real slow. Press it into the sides like I'm doing.
get this one out of the way and we'll get another one. We're making two of them. So we have four pie crusts. Now, why don't you want to come out? Okay, we'll play it your way then. Playing hard to get. I used to make my own guys, it's just not worth it. Not worth the time and the money to make your own your own uh, pie crusts. Okay guys, now that stuff that we mixed up, we're dumping it in here, then we're going to put a pie crust on top. Okay, here first we'll do this one here, we'll do the one that's in the, uh, the video, it's in the camera, huh? And make sure, see since these didn't separate, what we'll do, we'll help it out a little bit. Make that first layer nice and flat. Now, and the trick to this, guys, is cheese. Cheese, 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 cheese. Lots of cheese. Here, Max, you can have a piece. Against my better judgment, I'll give you a piece. Okay, now, throw some more on top of that. Now we might add a little bit more to this. I want to start the other one. Way well, I know I have enough for both of these. Okay, now let's do this one. Now let's get these pepperoni things here. We'll put these in by hand. So you guys can see. My dog heard the cheese things and he's right here, boy. I 
one for that corner, one for that corner, one for that corner, one for the middle. And let's throw some cheese down in there. Oh, that one being a little naughty on us. Make sure you don't get plastic in there, guys. Now I'm using between the both of these. Here, I'll give you a piece. Ow, I almost got my finger that time. I used almost a full pack of that of the sandwich cheddar. Okay, I think we have exactly enough for both of these. Okay, let me give you guys a pause. All right, this is the second one, guys. Now we have, that's what we got left over. So we're gonna have to divide this evenly amongst both pies because I want this to be the same I actually thought I made too much. It looks like I got a right on a button. And I actually added a few things to the original recipe. Because the original recipe calls for salami and prosciutto, which that's high, that, that's really bad for blood pressure. So I substituted prosciutto and salami for uh, pepperoni and beef. Now you don't want this like a mound, you want it flat. So if you're good with cement or plaster, this is where that's going to come in handy. Okay, that one's pretty good. There's some weight here too. This is probably maybe like a pound, maybe a pound and a half. This is also called pizza pinier, Italian Easter pie, pizza rustica. My grandmother and my aunt, they were from Italy, and they used to make the best. It was, it was, I can never make it even close to what they used to do. Okay. We're not done yet. We're going to get some Parmesan and sprinkle it on top of here. Okay. Oh, good. Here, I get, get the whole end. Okay, that's that one. Now this one, that's good enough. Now let's get our other pie crust out. Okay.
Please always grab right here for some reason. Okay, let's put that down nice and evenly. And we're going to crimp the sides so then nothing leaks out. We're going to press down on the rim of the pie pan. And you know, that, that's good. That doesn't matter. And we're going to cut this off. Max, you better... Oh, he's going to eat the dough now. Oh, my God. Okay, now we're going to get a fork and make some pretty designs around the edge. Make sure it's pressed down. And we're going to poke some holes in the top here. And that's ready to throw in the oven. Let's do the other one the same way. Okay, let's do one more thing here. It'll be easier to get out by doing this. All right, let's do the other one, guys. Okay, where is my scissors? Cut this off.
I'm going to preheat the oven to 325, guys. Hold on. Okay, we got our oven started. Okay. Uh, let's give it some air holes. And let's wait for the oven. Now while we're waiting for the oven, we're gonna smear a little bit of a little bit of butter on this guy here. Not too much, just enough just to coat. We want to coat it. By the way, guys, I bought a new mount for the GoPro. It enables me to mount the camera anywhere on the motorcycle. So I'm going to mount the motorcycle on the frame somewhere. That way you guys can see like a... Uh, you'll be closer to the ground. You'll have... Uh, like a closer to the ground video. Now all this butter here will actually do is uh, it'll it'll probably all melt away, but it'll keep the top of this from drying out too fast. And this is going to, once this is cooled, this will be, it's not going to be watery at all. This will be a very, it'll hold itself. So if you have a hole in your crust somewhere, don't worry about it. All right, our oven now is, it's on 235. So as of right now, this took four nine-inch pie crusts, two pounds of regatta cheese, seven eggs, eight ounces of mozzarella grated cheese, eight ounces of cheddar grated cheese, mild cheddar, uh, five ounces of pepperoni, a half a pound or uh, one pound of beef, one pound, maybe a little over a pound, maybe one like one point one pounds of beef, and. Um, I also put almost a full pack of um, cheddar cheese from the sandwich packs on and before the top pie crust you sprinkle Parmesan cheese. And uh, we're still waiting for the oven. Once that's in we'll pop these in. Oh and I forgot one large onion. Like I said the beef, cook the beef before you put it in here and fry the onion before you put it in here. Okay guys, top shelf, remember a drip pan, and it's on 325 for one hour. And when it comes out, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, they're out of the oven, and uh, we're gonna let them cool a little bit. Then I'll cut a piece and uh, you'll get to see what that looks like. Okay guys, now once you take this out of the oven, I recommend it sits for at least one to two hours. Now as you can see, I cut that after about a half an hour and uh, you can see that that's the, that's the sandwich cheddar I put in there, pepperoni. You know, and that's, um, that's your Italian Easter pie. And, uh, I will tell you, it's out of this world. Okay. You know, and, uh, this is, um, this is the a lighter version. Like I said, if you put prosciutto and salami and ham in it, it's, it's a lot, 
unhealthier. It's it's not. I don't really recommend using that, although that's the traditional. You know, and uh, it's pretty good. It's not bad. So you see the cheese in there. You know, and uh, here's another side view of it. You know, and uh, there's a lot of money that goes into making one of these. It's, it's, it's quite a bit. Quite a bit of cash goes into making two pies. So, all right, that's your Italian Easter meat pie, also called pizza pinna. Um, pizza Rustica. Okay. Catch you later.